a lot of cancer patients are going to jump into the chemotherapy radiation mm -hmm. treatment right away. What For those patients, what can a proper diet do along with those treatments? Well, first of all, nobody with cancer is suffering from a deficiency of chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. Nobody with a headache has a deficiency of aspirin. So applying those therapies might, might kill some cancer cells, but it does nothing to change the underlying cause of the disease. So in many cancer patients, they're burdened with toxins, which are interfering with their body's normal biochemistry. They have an abundance of nutrient deficiencies, fish oil, zinc, magnesium, vitamin E, etc. So you have to uh, correct those. So when a cancer patient jumps into the chemotherapy without looking at what's the underlying cause, how can I nourish my body so it can better uh, regulate and repair itself? Because the essence is a healthy human body is self-regulating and self-repairing. You talk about underlying causes. What are some of those? Well, let's start with the mind. Um, okay. Recently, we had a great football coach, Joe Paterno, who uh, was forced to resign uh, in distress. And within three months, this 80-something vibrant man died of non-smoking lung cancer. Depression causes a collapse of the immune system, which can cause the whole body just to um, allow the overgrowth of uh, cancer or infections. Mm -hmm. Um, many other examples in, in the media, um, Dana Reeves was the wife of Christopher Reeves mm -hmm. after taking care of her quadriplegic husband for nine years. A year after he died, she died of non-smoking lung cancer again, depression and death. So the underlying causes start with the mind. We need to have a sense of forgiveness, love, a sense of purpose, a good night's sleep. It's amazing how studies have shown that all of these 400 plus uh, neuropeptides in the brain are, are the beginning regulation is melatonin from the pineal gland and that much of that begins with a good night's sleep. Uh, so uh, sleep, uh, stress, we talk about other underlying causes. Um, Americans are bombarded with toxins. These are things that are carcinogens. They can cause cancer by damaging the delicate DNA. You need to remove those from the diet and no longer bring them in. There are ways of detoxifying, which starts with regularity. I think one of the problems with too many Americans is constipation. So they are suffering from endotoxemia. The toxins are being generated from within because they're not having uh, daily or more often bowel movement. Uh, other causes, malnutrition. For instance, in animal studies, they can induce lymphoma in, in animals just by depriving them of magnesium from the diet. There's no toxins. There's no stress. But you can cause cancer because that bio, biological machinery is not being allowed all the equipment it needs to regulate and repair itself. Because mm -hmm. here's the sound bite. A healthy human body and a rat body and a dog body and all of life is self-regulating and self-repairing if provided with all the substrates, the raw ingredients to perform that magic, and we can eliminate the blocks or the obstructions that prevent it from happening. So underlying causes are many and complex, but it's essential in order to get long-term um, favorable outcomes.